guys, so hey guys, so we're at River right now. I'm doing a maternity photo shoot. So yeah guys, being in quarantine made me pull back out my photography. Cause I just been needing other things to do to occupy my time since you can't go out. So that's what I'm doing. The waterfalls are so pretty. We're trying to get like good shots, even though it's like super sunny all right now, but yeah. You wanna say hi? Huh? You guys so nice. Yeah. Just look at them. You like at least one so far? Yeah. More than one. What the <laughs> hell? We're gonna go into outfit number two now. Okay, so. I want to go today or even no I want to go tomorrow when I come So nice. Hi everyone. Okay, hi everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. So, in today's video, well, actually, this video is gonna be like multiple days split up in one because I haven't been really going out a lot. But we've been swimming every single day. So today I'm gonna record something that we've done. I should have recorded every day because every day something happened that was just funny. So um, today we're going to river. I just finished doing another video, so I'm starting this vlog. Yeah. So I'm gonna take off my makeup down there and like do my hair and everything down there. Just that I ran out. So hot. It's so hot. Anyway, so the place lately has been catching on fire. Ice fire truck. What? <laughs> You're so nuts. Huh? You can't see you. No. It's on YouTube. So make a fire very clean. The place is burning, that's why. So place is burning like the fires won't stop so they have to tell the fire truck to so much fire look at the cow okay there's smoke over there smoke over there even like the other day ah! i missed it so you guys just saw that like the fire truck was like doing all their work they're sweating i don't even know how they're wearing all that big clothing because it's hot basically like a lot of people are um lighting like the bamboos and the grass around the area okay because I guess they want to make the grass shorter. They want to like cut the grass in that way. So it's been catching, it's dry season basically. So everything's catching on fire. So the fire trucks have been going everywhere around in the area to take out fires. Like they've been working and they're sweating like there's no tomorrow. But anyways, we're gonna go down to River and stuff. And listen, we've been going down to River every day and we saw an artist down there. His name is Kaleido. <laughs> and I was screaming, I was asking them. I was like, is that him? So I'm gonna, if I ever see him again, I'm gonna try and get take a photo with him or put him on my vlog. He's been going down there all the time, like the same river that we go to in our area. Um, supposedly he's from the area and he's been catching fish and just doing regular stuff. I guess with his assistant. And yeah, so that was crazy. But anyways, we're gonna go now. And yeah, let's go. Yeah, this one pro. We let someone use this, okay? And he went belly flopping into the water with this and broke the whole entire glass so now we have to buy new ones like look it was the funniest thing ever everyone could everyone couldn't stop laughing at him for the whole day we've been swimming every day everyone has here it carried me through day no one told me how difficult these are to are to walk in i have to be walking like clap on his feet like ducks okay so since this whole entire like social distancing and like we have to stay home after certain hours and can't really go out I've been going swimming for like a whole month or so like I have to I have to go for walks I walk like on the property because it's like really big and then I just come down to the river to swim for like two hours like after when I do like my videos I'm, I'll like swim for like two three hours and then if it's like my day off from doing videos or like taking photos I'll swim for like almost half of the day just to make time go by like I have to swim because it's hot number one and I try to make time go by and yeah people have been like coming down here and like like bush cooking and then going swimming and stuff like that because everyone's trying to like occupy their time and make time go by 
that's really it. But we've been practicing social distancing, like we're not in big groups or anything. It's usually like um, my neighbors and stuff like that. So. I'm so thankful, like, I'm so thankful that I'm in Jamaica because if I was in Canada, I wouldn't be able to be going down to Riva and like just try and free my mind outside of the home, which I am thankful for and I'm enjoying. Like we have a river beside us, we have the stream, we have the hills, we have value valleys, we have trees that we can pick apples from. Like you guys can see us picking apples and everything like that. Yeah, things have been happening. But yeah, and I have a pimple here, so hopefully it goes away by like, it'll go away by tomorrow. I don't like popping them because I don't want like black spots on my face or anything, but I'm gonna take off all this makeup, take off my eyelashes, and then go swimming for a few hours, and then you guys will see me back in the next clip. So I can't really record everything. What is that source of light? Guys, follow me on Instagram so you guys can see my. My rib off photos! And like that and comment. Okay, so we're picking apples. Every day after river we just pick apples. See if I can try and throw on. Let me see if I can record and throw and catch. Ready? Oh, I got it. Let me know if you guys like these apples too. They're so good. Oh, this one's actually sweet. I went home the other day with like a whole bag. Oh well, a whole towel full. And then the, the roosters ate them. It's like whatever they eat them. I don't know what they There's so much. Yeah. Look at all the Kalaloo for sale. For sale, for sale. Look at the goat. Hello. Look at the sky. Okay, guys. We're in um, Christiana, but no one's allowed in. It's kind of early. It's like 6 o'clock. And I'm missing Christiana right now. It's a <laughs> what? She look where she had her phone. We never was your mama kid. Um, so I just bought breakfast. I'm um, liver and fried dumplings. So, but where are we gonna sit and eat? After we're already we're eating. Yeah, me too. Oh, that was fast. We have to go from the gopa the Do you carry your water? Yeah. So we have to go I'm gonna go use a washer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, me and me. Here goes, sweetie. That was fast. Yeah, express. <laughs> so we're at um, J and Bang, but it's like basically seven. We've been here since six, and everyone's waiting, but the bank opens at nine o'clock. But the thing with Jamaica, you have to come like 16 million times earlier just to get through. And again, they only let 10 people in at a time. So that's what we're doing right now. Literally, everyone's waiting, but we're eating right now. Yeah. Listen, guys. Spallings. Spallings used to be 10 million times better than Christiana. If you guys can come to Spallings and taste their food, Beyond their great customer service, because there's just about to always has good customer service, but Spallings, like you guys see my food in my videos a lot. Like they give you so much liver. This is a little bit, and then and this is supposedly a large in Spallings. This is a small, you know. But in Christiana, they consider this a large. That's so weird. In Spallings, this is a small, and you get way more than this. And then it's a little bit. Oh my god, I, I, we should have we should have just bought our breakfast in Spallings and came over. Because <laughs> we would have got more. Wedding, you know? And they have Aki over there, Aki and Sawfish for breakfast. Yeah, the food is way better over there and it's worth your money. Them teeth. At least we experienced it to learn, to appreciate, like, we know about Spallings way better. Spallings, they give me so much food. I feel like I'm eating at my house. Because I eat a lot and I get a lot of food at my house, so. That's really it right now. And the dumplings don't feel like they're fully cooked. Stop. I know, I'm hungry, yeah. I'm really soft. Mm -hmm. Guys, you can send me things to my PO box now. Whoa. Let me show you guys. I'm at the post office as well. Okay guys, I'm actually home now. I just came back in. I look like a mess. Like this whole quarantine has me 
looking like a mess. Like, I have pimples all over my face and, like, I need my eyebrows done and everything. Anyways, guys, listen, I tried getting a P.O. box here in Spellings. Um, so you guys can send me stuff, but that's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna see if I can go to Christiana and try and get one. There's a postal office in the community that I live in, but the thing is, I wanted a PO bus, so the closest like main town. Yeah. Anyway, so I try to go. Let me tell you guys what happened, okay? So I'm gonna put like um the picture of the poster on the screen. You guys saw the poster on their wall too, when I went inside the post office. So I'll put the one on the screen from their Instagram. Anyways, let me tell you guys what happened. So basically, here's a little like run through because I don't want to like I told the story like 10,000 10, times to 10 million people. So basically, I went to apply, okay? And they were telling me that the PO boxes never become available. And then I was like, "What are you guys talking about? The PO boxes never come available." If um April, the month of April is the period where people renew and whoever doesn't renew, they're able to apply and get one. How are you guys telling me that like getting a people box is not available they're like oh like it just doesn't so I'm, I'm like okay so all 70 people renewed and they were like no not all 70 but we're giving them a grace period of one year one year can you guys believe that one whole year and i was like what do you mean who gives someone a grace period just for a people box for one year right so i was in there for like 10 minutes because i first i was talking to the guy boy and he didn't seem like he knew what he was talking about so i was like okay let me get the manager get the supervisor so i got well i told him to get the manager she said the manager was on break. I said, get me whoever's replacing the manager while she's on break. Get me the supervisor, whoever's responsible, right? And then I was in there literally, like, kind of arguing with the lady. I was like, you make no sense. Like, why would you guys promote that these PO boxes are going to become available? But then you guys are saying that how they never become available. And you guys give them, if you give people a one-year grace period to pay, they're PO box. They're, guys, listen, PO boxes are like pocket change down here they're like two grand or something um so i was in there for so long i'm like you guys don't make any sense like that doesn't make any sense why are you guys promoting they're like well you, you need to contact head office because um the flyers that are all around the post office are false information right so i, I was basically i think i already said this but i was basically saying i'm like okay so all 70 people renewed okay so i was like okay if so no one renewed that means i can get one like the month is basically done okay because the month is basically done right and the deadline to apply for the field box is the 31st so i'm like okay so like i need to get one why like your subscription is done like they got a whole year to use it if you don't want to renew it give it to someone else right literally i went there two days like two times i went back the first time and i talked to the guy and he told me something and once i left to do the rest of my errands on the town because i have to buy groceries and stuff i was like wait that guy doesn't make any sense what he told me right so i went back but then they were closed so i was like okay whatever whenever i come back on the town i go and talk to them so i went back on the town and then it was like a whole thing so i was like i was like no this doesn't make any sense i'm calling head office i'm contacting head office and stuff so i emailed them i called them first of all for jamaica post office on their google reviews like everyone's just complaining saying like none of their numbers work and then when you go on their instagram um read the comments in their instagram everyone's complaining how they don't respond to dm so i dm them and i emailed every single unit that they have at the jamaica post office in the head office and um they all res well two three people responded and like one person said that how they had called the branch to talk to them and stuff like that. And then the other people, someone else said they're going into investigation, whatever foolishness they say. And then basically that's it. They said that how I'm just going to have to wait until one becomes available. And I was like, this is so annoying. Like, there's some things in Jamaica that are so annoying. And one of the main things are is when it comes to doing official things, like going to government places to get things done. It's just a whole hassle that doesn't make any sense. And it's really annoying it's like when even the thing is when you go when i went into the post office the guy that was there that was first assisting me he seemed like he hated his life and he didn't want to work there and he was just like no no and like the thing is at the post office they're behind like a metal like cage i was basically saying but guys that's the thing so i guess i'm gonna try and get another fuel box somewhere else or i'm just if you guys want to send me stuff i might i can't really put the post office in my community because you guys will know exactly where i live so I'm going to see if I can go to another main town, which is not mindable, to get a P.O. box. But, like, it, it's messed up. Why are you promoting that we can apply if people don't renew? Like, if they become available, and then you guys are saying that none of them becomes available, and it's a one-hold grace period. I was telling her, like, she literally in the post office, I was saying to all them, like, you guys do not make any sense. Does that make sense? Who gives someone a whole one-year grace period to pay two grand for a P.O. box? And number two, if people don't, renew in the 31 days that you guys are giving people to renew then obviously they're not interested she was like no like maybe some people need their money like they're just waiting to get money i'm like two grand 
people in jamaica have money they can pay two grand if they want that right and obviously most people who are taking peel boxes they are like probably like businesses like i feel like the regular person wouldn't need a peel box because if i didn't do youtube i wouldn't have a peel box i just don't want people to know my address like i don't want companies to know my address especially like small business owners that watch me because you know like people just talk right and nothing's wrong it's just natural right anyways guys i'm editing right now so um, i'm gonna see you guys in the next clip the cow the cow whoa look how long the tongue is this is why people always eat the cow tongue because it's like thick and long. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> Just to clean out his, her nose somehow. It's a girl. No. No. The river is down this way. The river is right there. So you're gonna get them on a mobile device. Are you gonna in there? Yeah, but I put it to my computer, not my phone. The cow, the cow. The cow, so cute. Moo! Anyways, we're down um, at River. So I'm gonna go swimming. We went to the secluded part because the other side had some annoying people from our community. We are at Riva swimming. I needed to wash my hair. And it's just so hot. Can they see me? It's just so hot. Okay, guys, we're at Riva and it's so hot that I'm like, I need to go swimming. I need to go swimming. So we just literally walked from our community to the Riva. It's literally so cool. It's basically in our community. So we just walked down and like it's a long Riva that connects from Clarendon to St. Anne and it goes all the way around. And then it connects straight into Christiana. <laughs> so we're here and I wonder if you guys can see the cow in the background. Hi, cow. Yeah, it feels so good. The water feels good. I love swimming when it's extremely hot because once I'm in the water and I come out of the water, it's still so hot. So I drop in two seconds and I feel good. And then I do the same. Wow, that's good. Anyways, um, I'm going to wash my hair and stuff down here because I have a photo shoot later on today. So I'm going to do everything. We're just going to stay here for like 30 minutes. Ew! But um, we're just swimming for like 30 minutes and then going back up. Having um, a river around here is so, such a luxury. It's so nice. You can swim whenever. <laughs> I was saying that like the prime minister, like the MPs for the area are so weird. Like they don't, they're running for an area they don't even know about because if I was the MP for this area, I would literally try and like try and get investors and stuff to like buy property and build places around here because there's literally a river here. This is such a luxury. And then people would literally buy on property because there's a river here where you can swim and invite friends and all that. Most tourism whatever else but anyways i'm going back to swimming guys every day we do our daily like swim every day or as much as we can but yeah on the camera it doesn't look that big but this is really big there's a lot of pine cone trees pine there's a lot of pine trees on our property but this is really 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 big i'm trying to show you this is like probably the biggest i've seen it doesn't look as big it doesn't look as big on camera Guys, so we're just on a walk right now. Look at the cow. Moo! 